All right, good day and welcome. All right, so still working on the bike here. I tore some of it apart in the basement. You're getting bitten by flies, my poor dog. So hot out, you can be a do uh, hot dog. I got a hot dog. It's like 28 degrees out here. I'm supposed to have a rain uh, tomorrow. I didn't realize, I knew this, I thought this would be a chromoly frame, but it's not. It is aluminum. It is 6061 aluminum. This thing is nice and light. Now, once I get the, this uh, Picasso water bottle holder off there, everything else looks good. The derailleur looks okay. That looks that there's aluminium there. It's nice and light. The crank is uh, steel, as you. I guess that's galvanized there. I don't know what the pedals are. They're probably billet al aluminium. I'd like to get lighter if I can. Uh, don't think of this bike like a downhill bike. Think of it more like a um, a commuter bike or something like that. That just happens to be able to go where no man has gone before. Well, other people have gone, just not on bicycles. Uh, no bearings in there, just uh, bushings. Uh, they didn't look too bad. And this thing's made in China. I didn't know they made stuff in China. Hmm. Yeah, imagine that, made in China. Huh. But, uh, yeah, this seems like it was a fairly decent bike for what it was. Um, got a lot of extra little... You got a kind of a, a strange thing going on here. And this is common with uh, mountain bikes, particularly older ones. I don't know how old this bike would be, but uh, everything seems to be straight. I'll talk about the front end in a second. But... Uh, you got like a 6061 aluminium frame, nice and light, and then everything else on it they put on is steel. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you'd think they'd have aluminum crank, uh, maybe uh, steel, uh, you know, because it's like, oh well, yeah, but that's the stress parts. But yeah, but the frame is a stress part too. So it's kind of like an all or none. Like, why not just make the whole thing out of aluminium? You know what I mean? And just keep it all light. The derailers could be aluminium. They'll be fine. Um... Uh, Got plastic gears in the back, so I, I don't know what kind of price range this bike would have been in. I, I'm going to do some research on it and whatever. The cables all look okay. They're a little, you know, typically rusty. You just put some, you know, lube them up, whatever. The brakes, uh, I might be missing one little thing like that, but I'll be able to cannibalize it off the other bike. Now, the, this front end, this front end, I don't know. Yes, it is a suspension front end. It is straight, believe it or not. Uh, but uh, I got uh, one blown... Definitely got one blown uh, fork here. I'll have to take it apart to see, but it, it does seem to work. I mean, everything's good. Eh, can't do much here. But what I'd rather probably do, and I'll have to see if uh, that stem uh, will line up with possibly my second bike here. Probably won't, but I've got three bikes here, uh, only two of which I can actually use. But the bike I'm probably going to cannibalize, believe it or not, is... Uh, this one here, I don't know. Uh, this one might technically have a lighter frame. Maybe, I'm not sure. But if that front end fixes up to the other one, I might just swap them over. I don't think so. Uh, this is my super cycle. I, I've got a, you know, attachment. This frame looks like it's probably around the same as the other one. But I, I think the front ends might be too small. Uh... See, uh, this bike here is heavy, 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 heavy. It's all steel, pretty, except for the aluminum rim I put on the front. But everything is all... This one, it's kind of somewhere in between. Again, I don't know how many bikes it took to make this bike. Uh, the wheels are aluminum, and they probably will fit that other frame. They might be a little bit taller. I don't know. I'll find out. If not, because this bike, uh, the headset on this is really rough. Uh, it's... I, I don't know what's... Maybe it got cracked. Uh, uh, crashed or whatever and it's definitely not aluminium you can see all the rust here so uh, this bike um, I don't know what I'll cannibalize off this but uh, for example if these pedals are lighter I might go with that you know whatever is the lightest uh, I, I want to go with on this bike uh, well this bike is just you know it's going to stay kind of the way it is if, if, if worst case scenario maybe some of the aluminium bits off of that bike over there i'll put onto this but i think for the most part that this bike is just going to stay the way it is until i can find other stuff to put on it uh this bike i might cannibalize for example the brakes these look like much lighter brake systems than what's on the other ones which i'd prefer lighter's better for me uh, even if they're not necessarily mountain bike stuff. Well, I'll show you what I mean. Like, you can see, okay, this is what I got stopping the tires here, right? Now, let's go have a look over there to see uh, the, the, the crazy apparatus they got on there. I think a lot of, you know, bits that you don't need on there. Uh, simpler is better. Simpler is lighter. So, this, you've got 
uh, all this, which is welded into the frame, so there's not much you can do that. And then it just seems like there's a lot more on this than there is on the other. But if this frame and front end is lighter than the other bike, well, you know, okay, whatever. But I want to go with whatever's lightest. So I have to see, take the other bike apart to see what size the tube is. And I'm okay with no front suspension. I'm not one of those guys that needs suspension on my mountain bikes because I don't do any downhill. I don't, uh, I'm not really interested. That, this is not going to be that bike. Uh, and if I was going to do extreme downhill, I'd probably go with a steel frame before I'd go with a aluminium. Going up the hill is a pain in the ass, but if you're coming down, you want it to last. You need solid and steel is kind of solid. But yeah, everything else on this thing, it looks really good. So if I can lighten it up a bit, uh, the front end, if I can get that light, everything's there. The only thing I really need is wheels. And once I got wheels, which I could cannibalize from the other... Uh, this frame might be a little bit shorter, so I don't know if I can take those wheels, but I'll probably try it because that bike there I was going to scrap it anyway. Uh, if I can get this thing going, I'd have to, or maybe not half the weight, but at least a couple of pounds lighter. Uh, that'd be great. I mean, that'd be that'd be fantastic. <laughs> All right, so because uh, I think that like the 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 weight of that bike there, uh, the gray one, is probably the weight of this thing all put together. So. <laughs> Uh, definitely my super cycle is like that thing's over 40 pounds but this this frame is, is a good frame and the crank it's the, the bearings seem good and the crank everything is 17.5 uh, inch frame so that, that's probably a little bit small for me but trust me I can make it work the seat uh, the seat post is aluminium it's got a quick release uh, yeah so anyway I'll keep you guys posted as I get it together